She's lost. Lost her husband. Lost her way. Then the darker way. The road that leads into the funnel. Lost her own. Found the wrestler from the stars. Eater of dimensions. The blind piper. about a film in the name of Oz the Great and Powerful. Uh, this film is directed by none other than Sam Raimi, known for doing films such as Evil Dead, the Spider-Man franchise, Driving to Hell, and now most recently, Oz the Great and the Powerful. So pretty much what this film serves, it's pretty much, in simple terms, a prequel to the uh, original uh, The Wizard of Oz movie. You pretty much find out how Oz became the Wizard of Oz. That's pretty much the movie. I don't want to say too much, but you know, he gets a tornado comes, he gets swept away into Oz, and finds out he has to take out uh, the witch because he is uh, the wizard from the prophecy that surrounds their land of Oz. That's pretty much the movie. Uh, so Ashley, I'll have you go first. What did you think of Oz the Great and the Powerful? You okay? Take your time. You okay? I'm fine. Between your eyes. Um, Oz the Great Powerful. I absolutely, 100% fully loved this movie. Now, I'm not a huge fan of any of the Evil Dead movies. So, sorry for all you Sam Raimi loving fans that are just like, Oh my God, that movie! I couldn't stand it. Um, I also didn't like Drag Me to Hell, but this movie I love, absolutely just love, from the story to all the great visuals, the 3D was phenomenal, used perfectly, I loved all the characters and like everything you got to see, I loved all of it. Me also, I have to say that the 3D in this film it's some of the best 3D that I have ever seen. Mm -hmm. Like, this, Silent Hill, and then probably Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter, those those three films are, were just really good. And Oz the Great and Powerful is definitely up there in the 3D level. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, I not, not just stuff flying out at you. I mean, that's obvious, but and there's so much depth and fluid and color. Like, there's a scene where <coughs> James Franco is in a hot air balloon when he first enters Oz. And he's like falling down this waterfall, and the camera is going with the waterfall. Yeah, you feel like you're. And you feel as if you're on a roller coaster almost. You feel as if you're moving with him. And the 3D is used just that, I guess you could say, that awesome way where you feel like you're going with him. And of course, there's several scenes where like he throws gold coins in the air, and the gold coins just feel like they're all around you. Another theme, like towards the beginning, it starts off in. Um, Black and white. Black and white, but also the screen is not... Full screen. Yeah, full screen. Yeah, it's like this. Like a square. And there's this part where the guy blows fire and it goes to the side of the and screen. And it literally comes up. And it looks like it's coming at and you, it comes like, up, from it the side. Yeah, and it goes up to the uh, out of the widescreen. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, because yeah, what this movie does is it goes... The first 20 minutes or so are black and white. And then once he gets into Oz, it slowly goes from black and white to like a grayish color. And then it fully goes to color. And that full screen turns and do a widescreen. Yeah. And that was just really cool. But like I was saying about the 3D though, the 3D is phenomenal. I mean, you got so many things. There's a scene with like these pink butterfly th butterflies and they're literally taking up the entire uh, place of the screen and that was really cool because they're like flying around you and it's just really cool. 
so at least on a visual uh, standpoint this movie is absolutely phenomenal I mean the visuals of this movie are amazing it's just I mean you feel like you're watching a masterpiece because of just all the different colors and the flowers and the different creatures uh, and all different uh, Bruce Campbell as always I don't think he was in Dragon Hell but as always Bruce Bruce Campbell has a cameo in Sam Raimi's film he plays so if you don't know who he is he plays the uh, gatekeeper Winky and it's he's towards the end of the movie he's the guy standing near the gate and he has like this huge like prosthetic chin so we'll just look for a guy near a gate with a huge chin towards the end of the film he gets hit in the head several times with a cane so just keep looking for that scene and if you see that scene that's Bruce Campbell uh, oh excuse me I had a burp Anyways, though, but like I was saying, on a visual standpoint, the movie is amazing. You got so many just different, you know, fluid colors and all these different crazy things. So if you have no other reason to watch the movie, at least watch it for the way it looks. But the story, too, I thought James Franco, was there like a favorite performance you have? You know, you have Mila Kunis, James Franco, you had the Glinda, you had the little teapot girl, you had the, the animated monkey. Was there a favorite well, actor or actress? I liked James Franco a lot. Um, and I really liked... You know, Mila or Milo, however you want to pronounce it. Um, I really loved her too, but probably like my favorite, my favorite character out of everyone, including James Franco and you know Milo, whatever, um, is the China Doll Girl. I absolutely love her character. And her story. I just, loved it. Loved the, it. Loved the it. The gluing the legs back together. That yeah. was awesome. That was one of the best scenes in the movie. Is when they, they glue her. Whenever he takes the glue. And she doesn't know what it is. And, and glues her legs back together. Because of her teapot land is destroyed. Really cool scene. So trying to grow your favorite? Yeah. My, 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 I, I have two favorites. And I think my two favorites are. I really like the monkey. Mm -hmm. the, the animated Finley? monkey. Yeah. Finley. Is that his name? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was really cool. Uh, James Franco, of course, stole the scene, stole the show in a lot of scenes. I like the scene. The court he says at the beginning, you know, before they get to Oz, he says, you know, I want to be a, I want to be a, I don't want to be a, you know, a good man. I want to be a great one. And then he has several other quotes towards the end. But my favorite performance by far, are is is definitely uh, Mila Kunis. Uh, she was she stole the scene she was in. She was just downright a phenomenal actress in this movie. I really. I also liked Glinda a lot. Glinda was very cool too. Uh, you know the, the. They were all great. Yeah, all the witches were good. Uh, but Glinda, Glinda was cool. Uh, I don't remember the other witch's name, but you got Glinda, Milo, Milo the adult. There's um, Eleonora. Glinda. Glinda. Fedora. And then. Um, was it Fedora? Fedora. Fedora, yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, Mila Kunis I thought was really good in this movie. I re I, won't, I don't want to say too much, but I really enjoyed the way the witch looked. You know, it was practical effects, you know, all green, you know, with like a black slim dress. I don't want to say too much more because that's my, my, some people might catch it without spoilers. And sorry if I spoiled it for you, I didn't mean to. But anyways, uh, I just really enjoyed the way the witch looked. She looks really cool. And her laugh was just like menacing. It was just, it was really cool. And one last thing I want to talk about was not only was the story was great, uh, the ending was really cool. I want to say the ending, uh, it isn't your typical ending. No normally with these kind of movies, you expect some kind of like big fight or big showdown, you know what I mean? Like a big fight. But in this movie, it's done in a different way because of what happens. Uh, you know what I'm talking about, you know, with the yeah. whole magic and the illusions. And you expect a big showdown, but you get something a little different, and that's why I liked it. Uh, anyways, the last thing I want to talk about in this review for Oz, the Great Powerful, directed by Sam Raimi, is Sam Raimi's camera work. That was just, I mean, you got so many, like, different, like, camera angles, like, especially the tornado sequence where, like, the wood is, like, coming up at them, and they're spinning around in the waterfall scene. And then especially at the end, where the witches are, like, fighting each other and stuff. I mean, what do you think? What did you think about the camera work and stuff? I liked it. I enjoyed it. Uh... You can definitely tell he has a sort of, you know, I guess you could say kinetic sort of style, where it's, like, really crazy, and it moves around with the person. It's, like, right up, close up, right on their face, and he's not afraid to the 
you know, especially that scene with, with you know, I, I, I can't say too much, you know, but the scene with the witch in her hands or right up next to the screen. Yeah. I mean, um, at moments in this film, I felt like I was watching the original Evil Dead. Not even kidding, because that's how crazy the camp work was. It reminded me of that movie. It reminded me of Drag Me to Hell because of how crazy the camera work was. Because Evil Dead, in my opinion, has a lot of crazy and kinetic camera work. And all this great powerful Sam Raimi brings in his same style that he always does. It's a great style, if you ask me. Uh, and that's honestly my favorite thing about the movie. Visuals aside, everything else aside, it's that crazy camera work that kept me watching. Just that crazy sense of, you know... You know, just the crazy camera angles. That's why I love it so much because I felt like I was watching the original Evil Dead. It was just, it was crazy. Uh, especially towards the end. You know, you you have to admit the end reminds you of Evil Dead. Just the scenes of sort what starts to happen. And there's a scene that's in Evil Dead 2 that's almost identical in this scene, the end of this movie. Uh, and there was also a scene in Drag Me to Hell. Uh, that was Drag Me, uh, not Drag Me to Hell, but uh, Drag Me to Hell and Evil Dead 2. There's there's a scene with uh, dancing. Remember the dancing scene from? And then Oz the Great Powerful, whenever you know she lifts him in the air, and begins to dance. That, those scenes are almost identical. Uh, anyways, uh, so what was your final uh, rating on Oz? I use 100. 10 out of 10. One, uh, 100, 100. Out of, 100 out of 10. It, ex it over exceeds. <laughs> so would you say this, this is this your favorite movie of the year so far? Definitely. Definitely, really? Definitely. So favorite movie well, of from January right to March? Now, yes, it is my favorite movie. I love it. Um, I don't know if it's my favorite so far, but it was really good. I really did enjoy it. Nothing wrong with it. And whether there's a and there is plans to be in a sequel. Like whether Sam they Raimi most do the whole trilogy thing or not. Either way. How many of them more there are? I hope Sam Raimi continues to do them. He said he probably wouldn't. I read, it, I read it on an article last night. Well, he should change his mind because. Yeah, he said he probably. He, they're both. There will be a sequel because the movie's already made 150 million worldwide just in its first week in a box office. So this, Disney's already working on a script on a sequel. Right. Well, um, I think that Sam Raimi should change his mind and be like. But right yeah, now it looks it this. looks like Sam Raimi isn't interested in doing a sequel. I don't know why, but well he should because. But I guess you never know, right? I guess we'll I'll keep you guys updated. I guess it just depends on. Depends on what happens. Takes it on. Yeah. If but anything, I would, I'm sure. But I would like him to do it. Yeah. If anything, it'll be a good watch. I'm sure. I'm sure the sequel will be just as good, if not better. Yeah. Anyways, any last words about it? Anyways, that's Set of Peak Geeks and Ash's review of Sam, Ra Sam Raimi's directed film by the name of Oz the Great and Powerful. Once again, thanks for watching another movie review by Set of Peak Geek and Ash. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the page below, and we'll see you guys later.